This video is about Symphony No. 99 by Joseph Haydn. I will explain the most important things about the work and the composer. Joseph Haydn composed his Symphony No. 99 in E-flat major in 1793. It belongs to the second group of the famous London symphonies, which Haydn wrote for his second trip to England. The symphony was written in Vienna before Haydn left for London, and was premiered there in February 1794. It shows Haydn's mature mastery of symphonic composition and his ability to inspire his audience with innovative musical ideas. The Symphony No. 99 follows the classical four-movement structure. The first movement is an adagio vivace assai in sonata form, beginning with a slow introduction. The second movement is an adagio in G major. The third movement is a minuet with trio. The fourth movement, a finale vivace, brings the work to a lively and spirited conclusion. Each movement has its own character, but together they form a coherent musical whole. The first movement begins with a slow introduction, characteristic of Haydn's late symphonies. This introduction creates an atmosphere of expectation and tension before moving into the lively vivace assai. Haydn skillfully uses harmonic and rhythmic devices to arouse the listener's interest and prepare for the main section of the movement. In Symphony No. 99, Haydn demonstrates his mastery of orchestration. He uses a large orchestra for the time, including clarinets, which appear here for the first time in one of his symphonies. The use of clarinets gives the work a special timbre and shows Haydn's interest in new instrumental possibilities. Haydn creates a rich palette of colors, ranging from delicate string sounds to powerful 2D passages. The second movement of Symphony No. 99 is an adagio of great lyrical beauty. Haydn shows his ability to express deep emotions while maintaining the formal structure of the movement. The use of clarinets contributes to the particular color of this movement, giving it a warm, expressive quality. Haydn's musical language in Symphony No. 99 is both elegant and innovative. He uses contrasting themes, surprising harmonic turns, and refined rhythmic structures. The symphony shows Haydn's ability to develop themes and create great musical arches. Particularly noteworthy is the way he works with, with motifs throughout all the movements, creating an inner unity of the work. The third movement, a minuet with trio, shows Haydn's ability to combine traditional forms with innovative ideas. The minuet is powerful and energetic, while the trio offers a strong contrast. Haydn plays with the listener's expectations here by incorporating unexpected rhythmic and harmonic turns. The symphony's fourth movement is a lively and witty finale. Haydn uses a catchy main theme, which he develops and varies in a series of brilliant variations. The movement shows Haydn's ability to handle complex musical structures with apparent ease. It ends in a mood of exuberant joy and energy. Symphony No. 99 was composed for a demanding London audience. Haydn took English tastes into account by using brilliant orchestration, catchy melodies, and dramatic effects. The introduction of clarinets and the innovative treatment of the orchestra particularly appealed to the English audience, who appreciated Haydn's originality and his ability to renew music.